Watching Quentin Tarantino absolutely obliterate Marvel is fantastic and it's hilarious because Quentin Tarantino has become someone who the woke left have deemed problematic because of some of his opinions, his takes, and the way that he has constructed some of his films, which are definitely not woke and therefore he has become a villain in the eyes of the woke. But Quentin Tarantino completely trashes Marvel in this hilarious uh, interview that we're going to be taking a look at here and we're also going to be taking a look at some of the interactions in response to him because woke twitter is having a total meltdown over his tw uh, takes in this interview so quentin tarantino says marvel directors are hired hands so he won't join the mcu i'm not looking for a job and it's hilarious because as we continue to watch marvel fall apart and start to completely disintegrate into woke uh, ideology and woke insanity it's interesting to see more and more of these directors start to see the disaster of marvel continuing to formulate and them not wanting to be involved in that so quentin tarantino flirted for a period of time with directing a star trek movie but that doesn't mean he'd ever take the leap into the marvel cinematic universe the filmmaker is currently making the press rounds in support of his new book cinema speculation which uh, I am very much looking forward to reading, uh, told the Los Angeles Times that directors in the MCU are simply hired hands and he had no time to assume such a role. You have to be a hired hand to do these things, Tarantino said of Marvel movies. I'm not a hired hand. I'm not looking for a job. So, and then he goes on, and it's hilarious because he's actually pretty correct about this. This is literally how Marvel treats its directors, and it's a shame seeing the way that they have treated some of their directors in the past, and it's only going to continue to get worse as Marvel continues to focus less and less on actually telling good stories and more on pushing certain agendas. The analogy works because it's a similar chokehold, Tarantino said, about superhero movies dominating the industry these days in the same way musicals did in the past. While Tarantino refuses to become a hired hand for a studio, he also might not want to direct a Marvel movie because of Hollywood rarely produces Hollywood rarely produces big budget movies that are his type of film. Of course, I like Star Wars. What's not to like? Tarantino said. But I remember, and this is not a but in a negative way, but in a good way, the movie completely carried me along and I was just rocking and rolling, rolling with these characters. When the lights came on, I felt like a million dollars and I looked around and had this moment of recognition thinking, wow, what a time at the movies. And I'm sure that a lot of people can remember their first time going to see a Star Wars movie that wasn't a sequel you know, Star Wars trilogy movie or whatever else, and just having that magical experience in the theater, which of course is pretty much completely lacking in the new Star Wars movies. Now, that's not necessarily my favorite exact type of film, Tarantino continued. At the end of the day, I'm more of a close encounters of the third kind kind of guy just the bigger idea in spielberg setting out to make an, an epic for regular people not just cinephiles few uh, few films had that kind of climax that close encounters had it blew audiences away and of course this has sent uh all of the woke marvel stands into a tizzy on twitter today which is hilarious to see good we don't want him they're just jealous the MCU connects more with the audience than their prestige movies. So they keep talking, taking, uh, talking, hoping fans will choose them over the MCU. And it's funny because these people are completely ignoring the reality of the situation that Marvel is dying, okay? Marvel, the MCU, is not what it was at the end of Endgame, Infinity War, or anything else. And even after those movies... None of the Marvel movies have been super successful since then besides Spider-Man No Way Home. And the reason why Spider-Man No Way Home was a successful film was because it honored the characters. It brought back some of the characters that we love from the past. It respected the characters. It respected the lore. And it didn't continue to try to butcher it with woke ideology. Then he is not in the business of making money because regular movies doesn't draw many fans. Which is hilarious that these people are saying this about freaking Quentin Tarantino, one of the biggest movie legends in Hollywood today, if not of all time. Quentin Tarantino, there's a reason why he has such a raving fan base, and that is because Quentin Tarantino doesn't focus on woke BS. He continues to just tell good stories. And it's going to be sad when we no longer have Quentin Tarantino uh, working in Hollywood today. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed 
this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about Quentin Tarantino's response to Marvel? Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.